Evan, you riding? Yeah. You being a helper, keeping it all in? Yeah. Yeah, you got your Sprite? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Pay attention. Hold on. Hold on. Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. Today we have the start of our June once a month grocery haul. Today we just went to Sam's Club and I had just gotten back from a weekend retreat and so everybody was missing me and I was missing everybody so we took the whole family. It was fun and kind of stressful. It was busy but we got very little for six hundred and seventy dollars i'll put the exact total in the description box below if you are new here my name is brandy i am the mom of 10 children ages 21 to 6. we live in central texas we're a homeschooling family and we do typically once a month grocery hauls after some time shopping in the store today my husband and i talked about we might have to start shopping weekly and shopping sales based on the flyers. So the prices, as we all know, are continuing to go up. And like I said earlier, we got very little, very little meat and very little produce. So I will show you Sam's Club and then in the coming days you will see all of my other orders. I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative this month with the cost of things and um, definitely kind of make a different menu. but. We will start over here. Okay, so this is our meat section. We did get two big chuck roasts. They were $29. This will be one meal for us. And then this smoked sausage, we usually only eat once a month. I slice this up on like a um, sheet pan dinner with lots of veggies and bake it in the oven. It's very good. We usually only have it once a month, but these were only seven dollars so I went ahead and got two thinking that that would be something we probably need to eat twice a month now. The ground turkey was over sixteen dollars and I think just two months ago it was twelve or thirteen dollars so that price has definitely gone up. We use ground turkey mainly in tacos and some soups. It's pretty hot for soup so we'll save this for taco or taco salad. I don't normally buy chicken thighs, but we were at a friend's house and they grilled some chicken thighs and they were so good. This actually was my only option of fresh chicken. Today they had no chicken breast outside of the kind of organic, very expensive one and they only had four packs of those. I asked to buy a case and he said that they didn't have any in stock. So I only got, this is five, 0.59 pounds. It was 288 a pound. So this obviously will not be a month's worth. So I'm hoping to track down some chicken at my click and pull orders at Walmart and HEB. We're showing you that bacon is $50. <laughs> we got these brats for Memorial Day. Um, they were two. There's two in this pack and they were $11 and some change. I got two turkeys. These were almost $9 a package. The salami and some pepperoni for we make pizzas. One package of fish sticks. This will be one lunch if we add some mac and cheese or something. And then my kids got a big take and bake pizza for tonight. And then I went ahead and got this. I bought this last time and it was so good. It was $11.70, so it's kind of pricey for just a single meal, but I actually was able to get about three meals for just myself out of here. So I'm gonna have that for dinner. One thing of sliced strawberries, two things of the boneless chicken bites. The Tyson bag that I normally get like this was almost $20, which really was shocking. So what we've been doing with this is baking these in the oven and then warming up some of the Good & Gather orange chicken sauce from Target. 
pouring it on top and serving it over rice. It's kind of a fun, easy dinner or more filling lunch. We got one package of tortellinis. I have a tortellini bake with Italian sausage that's really good. And then they were serving this as a sample and um, they said it was really good. So I went ahead and got this spinach ricotta ravioli. I only got two milks because they, I pulled up the Walmart app while we were there and they were a lot cheaper at Walmart, but I think we're needing these for the next few days. Two six packs of peppers, some cucumbers and seedless red grapes some sour cream and two of these romaine hearts. This looks really yummy to me, this Zing Zang mango margarita. So I picked up that. One big bag of baking potatoes. Down here we have some household stuff, two laundry detergents, one fabric softener, some paper plates, freezer bags, and dishwasher tabs. I got one of the burrito sized tortillas and then the smaller ones. We use this non bread for pizzas. It's really yummy. The carnation breakfast essentials. I usually have that. My girls picked out this book, Midnight Sun. Um, is it a part of the Twilight series or just a new thing altogether? They're saying it's a part of the Twilight series. So if you are a Twilight fan, and tell me if you're Team Edward or Team Jacob in the comments. <laughs> what are you, Evie? Team Edward. Team Edward. Okay. So pink Himalayan salt, ground cinnamon. Tomorrow is Memorial Day, and then we also have 4th of July. So we'll use these tomorrow, and then I'll put them away until July 4th. These are really thick, nice paper plates. I think these were $9.88. The elbow pasta was under $5 for a six pack. I don't remember how much the spaghetti was, but I went ahead and grabbed that one pack of the Velveeta cheese. The Wolf Brand Chili is for my queso recipe. Um, some diced peaches and diced mandarin oranges, or not diced, just mandarin oranges, rotel and refried beans. Some milk chocolate chips for baking and some pods for our Keurig and then it's the same type of coffee and beans where we make a whole pot some chicken broth and then we love these better nut bars they go pretty quick around here one 12 pack of diced tomatoes and underneath is a tomato sauce I bought this last month because it was clearanced and it is so delicious. There are 24 in here for $10 of this Pellegrino. Some kitty litter and a huge box of chips. There's two big bags in there. So if you have watched our grocery hauls in the past, you know that typically I I spend about eight to a thousand, eight hundred to a thousand dollars at Sam's Club, and get so much that it's on the table, on the bar, on the floor, and I spent, you know, what did I say, six forty, six seventy, and it is not that much. So, tell me the things that you have seen the prices go up on eggs were $12 for two 18 packs. So I did not buy eggs there. We do have laying hens, but they don't give us enough for me to also bake. They give us just enough for, barely enough scrambled eggs for one morning, so, but we're grateful for it. It's just not enough for the entire month. So if you like grocery hauls and like cooking videos, we would love it if you would like this video and subscribe. We have probably at least two more grocery hauls for June coming up. And when I look at prices tonight online, we may decide to go switch to weekly or bi-weekly shopping just depending upon the sales flyers. So let us know if you've adjusted your shopping habits because of inflation. I know we're kind of all trying to navigate this together. So thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.